Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Wrestling with Disney. I am here with my cat Buster. You can see his little tail going back and forth. But that's okay because he's excited because we have some magic mail, which in the YouTube world means Disney mail. So, I'm gonna do a few packages that I'll pull from today and let's see what we this first beautifully pretty package is from another YouTuber. It is from, drum roll please. <coughs> ah, that wasn't the drum roll. That was just an unfortunate timed event. Um, I might have to sneeze again. This is terrible. We may never know who it's from. <laughs> All right, that was too bad, but sneezes happen. So, drum roll please the youtuber this is from or shall i say youtubers not because it's multiple channels but because it's several people on one channel the fantastic girls bethany of the fantastic girls is someone i consider a friend i'm hoping to drive out to her sometime soon so we could film together if you haven't watched bethany's channel bethany's channel is called the fantastic girls because they do different Pinterest pin style videos. So they do recipes and crafts. They also do unboxings and many of them are Disney themed. Bethany actually does a lot of copycat recipes. Copycat as in copying what was in the Disney parks. So you should really check those out. I really admire Bethany. I know as a YouTuber, just doing videos on my own of myself i often feel judged by people in the real world and i can appreciate that bethany put herself out there and is doing these great videos with her daughters and i think they're really done in a way that is not at all invasive to the girl's privacy because it is these tutorial videos and these crafts and they're coming on specifically for that and i really admire it and i think it's a great thing and i think these girls are going to have such awesome memories of this time together and with their mom it honestly reminds me of like when i would after school sometimes you could sign up for these different lessons like baking or crafts and things like that and bethany's videos remind me of those better times <laughs> so let's see what the fantastic girl sent us i snip the top and i already feel something and i think i know what it is I don't know where she found this Figaro patch. Oh my goodness, on Bethany's channel, she did a tutorial on making cup cozies. Wow, these like really stretch. Amazing, and I have a pin from Cinder Alley Loves Disney of Figaro in the same pose. I love it. I can't wait to use this for my, I do every weekend, I do a Disney mug photo of what Disney mug I'm using. And this kind of opens up the door of different mugs I can use now because I can just slip this over it and then it's going to be a Disney mug. Thank you, Bethany. That is so great knowing she took the time to make it and that she probably had to track down this Figaro. So I can't wait to find out where she got it. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. So I love Figaro, if you've watched before, because he reminds me of my cat Buster. And this is an incredible drawing by Abby. So I know her as Abigail from the Fantastic Girls intro. She did a really good job. The eyes actually remind me of anime style drawing. So Bethany, you'll have to let me know if she um, likes any of those characters or anything like that. It reminds me of Sailor Moon and things like that, the way it's drawn. She did excellent. I love this. This is Buster's first piece of fan art and I know he's just gonna go bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I have. Look at this. We have the Mickey 90th anniversary stickers. I look at all these on here. I loved stickers as a kid and I know her daughters do too. So that just makes me smile as well. <laughs> so I'm sneaking in now. I am one of 
five and three of my siblings are sisters one is a brother and i think that's why i love bethany's channel so much as well because it reminds me of me and my sisters and wow i wonder if holly did this holly i relate to the most even though she's two because she is the youngest of all the girls which is what i was in my house and then rose and i share a love of the musical cats so oh and there's a nice card so i didn't catch that first i really should have looked through everything so let's see o m g you guys will appreciate the little disney magic here oh my gosh they're cat stickers what could be better than this? look at this cat that is like my spirit animal there he's just like bundled up and doesn't give a hoot that's me right there I'm pretty positive that Bethany made this on her Cricut. So, cause she put the Pentastic Girls on the back and she mentioned that she made the card. And if you follow her Instagram, she mentions um, a lot of her Cricut stories, like stories, in her stories, her Cricut creations. So if you're interested in learning how to use your Cricut, cause I know I found it very overwhelming. Bethany got hers like up and running in a day. I don't know how she did it, but she did. So thank you so much. Bethany thank you for the note I used to fold my notes up in triangles in middle school too and they'd have like pull tabs it was fabulous and each of the fantastic girls signed it so thank you to each of you I look forward to meeting you all soon so that's gonna be hard to follow up but I'm gonna try so I'm gonna do the Mickey monthly because I know that will come with at least, this comes with at least three pins. I'm saying at least because it feels heavier than normal, but I can't imagine they would just decide to give me more than what I've paid for. <laughs> you never know, you never know. Well, let's see what we get. Mickey monthly is a subscription service. They don't just do pins. Um, but what I get is the pin service. I get three pins every month. It's just a basic trader. Um, wow, I haven't seen this Donald before. Usually their pins are pretty new. They're often from booster sets. And once again, that's likely because I have the basic package. He's, his mouth is really wide open, but he's ready to party. It's heavy in size, so that's very likely why this package was so heavy. Um, these come in these great little baggies, which are great to keep around to use for your own traders. I love putting my traders in these, though I do bubble wrap them as well. So this is a Mickey 90th anniversary or 90th birthday, as they're calling it, set. They often will do pins from the same set. Some people like that. I prefer more of a variety. This way it's not a total wash if you didn't want that set. Buster sees that I have pins out and now he's trying to get them. Cause that's what cats do. They like to piss off their owners. Pluto is going to round this out. So these are definitely nice pins. They're really sturdy, but they're just not anything I'm looking to collect. So these will be going into my trader pile. So if any of those are of interest to you, comment down below or message me on my Instagram, which is wrestling with Disney. I'm going to close this up with one more pin pack or pin pack edge package. And this comes from Marcy Mouse. I cannot mention her channel enough. I've already mentioned it tons. This is a pin that I got on her 90s themed Instagram live sale. This is a button that I won during that sale. I think it says, I want you back. Part of that epic song. Were you guys in sync or BSB? Because I was BSB. So I need a button that says, I'll never break your heart. All right, let's feel what we got. Wow. So this was nice. This is for the Tinkerbell collection we have going here on here in my home. 
she came on her backer card but i'm gonna take it off and hopefully we can get a nice close-up this looks like an older pin yeah 2009 limited edition two of six le of one thousand and it is a saint patrick's day pin very nice and pretty it will add a lot of color and you know there is a St. Patrick's Day pin tag going around. I was tagged in it by Cinder Alley Loves Disney. I didn't get to do it yet, but there is a question about the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, and this pin would be so perfect for it. So let me know down below if you think I should do it even though March is over, or if I should save it for next year. I believe that was the only pin we got in that sale, which, is, which probably just means you know, my I say we because my husband watches it with me. Um, that just means we likely didn't have good service because otherwise we would have been watching all night and claiming more things. And I guess that's going to round out the video, guys. It's a very busy week for me coming up. So I'm trying to bulk film now in advance. It is a very busy week for me at work. We have a team meeting, which is taking place just every day this week from the start of the workday to dinners at night. And it's also WrestleMania week. So I was mortified when I realized the team meeting was the same week. That meant I couldn't take off. And I got offered an NXT TakeOver tickets, which is Friday night. And I had to say no, because I'm going to be at work. It was awful, awful. Because originally I planned to take like the whole week off because WrestleMania is in New York. Well, it's in New Jersey. It's in my area. But that's that. Buster and I are going to take off an extra special thank you to Marcy Mouse and to the Pintastic Girls. Both of them have YouTube channels. Marcy Mouse's channel is M-A-R-C Mouse and Bethany's channel is the Pintastic Girls. And I really hope you'll check it out and maybe even subscribe. I know Bethany's been working hard to get to a thousand. She's getting pretty close. I think she's going to do it hopefully soon. I love her stuff and I love her girls. Thank you girls for thinking of me and thank you all for checking out this video. We have more coming up such as the Figaro pin board. I'm looking this way because Buster has found the Figaro cozy. So I've got to stop him. See you next time. This is not your cozy. It's not yours. Oh, I'm glad you like it, but but it's mine. Sorry.